What is up guys, welcome back to another follow up video and today I'm bringing you a little compilation of the best glitches we've seen in 2017. Now, I'm sorry if you guys don't like the compilation type things, but I'm super sick so I can't really talk for that long. So hopefully after my sickness is gone, um, videos will go back to normal and things like that. So if you guys do go on to enjoy this video, make sure you like, subscribe and let's get right into it. Never pay full price for games again guys, use the link in the description to get up to 90% off of all G2A games. Alright guys, so the first glitch we have is going to be requiring that duplication glitch, so if you do not know how to do that, um, go ahead and keep watching the video, but if you already know how to do the duplication glitch, just go ahead and skip to 236. Alright guys, so to do this glitch, all you have to do is just go to your workshop and then go over to any junk you want, so I chose acid, and then once you have chosen your material, go ahead and then go into your pit boy and then drop that item onto the ground. Now I recommend auto saving at this point just in case you know you lose anything or anything like that but as you do that go in the workshop mode and then this is the tricky part that everyone always gets stuck on. When you're at this part of the place and you're hovering over the item that you want to pick up you press square on PS4 then very quickly after you have pressed square you want to press circle. Now you know you've done it right whenever it asks you if you want to sort in the workshop just go ahead and press yes to get out of that and then press X to get out of the workshop. Now as you can see if you go back to your workshop you should have doubled of that amount just take that out of the workbench and then place it back on the ground and you know you have done it right perfectly whenever there is two of the item that you just had. So to get rid of this just go into the workshop mode and then scrap both of them then go back into your workshop and it should have them there and they should be one piece whenever you put them on the ground. Okay guys, so this is real life right now and I want to show you guys how I do it. There are two different techniques to uh, actually press it. So what I do is whenever I'm doing a glitch, I press square and then I slide my thumb over and you actually hit X at the same time. That's not really needed, but the, my technique is I just slide it over and I end up pressing X anyway. Or there's also another technique where you just press square and then after you press circle. Now this is the correct timing that you want to do it and this is how I always do it. Now if you do it like that it should go ahead and duplicate it but if it does I guess you just keep trying it and then this is the speed that you want to use if you are doing the press circle and square and not actually sliding your thumb. Alright guys so now that you know how to do the duplication glitch or you just skipped ahead in the video go ahead into your workshop go over to stores, and then choose the trader you want to do. Now, preferably, you can um, use the weapon trader, which is going to give you the most. It's going to give you 3,000 caps per one if you go to the Emporium one. Or if you don't have enough bottle caps yet, just go to like one of the cheap trader ones. I only cost like 100 bottle caps to start up. But since I have a lot of money, I'm going to go into the weapons Emporium one. Now, for this, we're going to be doing the same technique that we're doing on the normal material. We're going to be going over it, hovering over it, press square and circle super fast, and you'll see a little split screen in between. And whenever it says store weapons emporium in the workshop, you want to go ahead and press yes, just like on the past materials. And now that you will see, you actually have one um, weapon emporium like ready to place down that's not going to charge you at all. And you're going to have one um, that's been scrapped because it thinks that you scrapped it and you got the money for it, even though you really didn't. So the only money that's going to be costing you this is going to be the ones that actually takes to start up the actual glitch. So if you don't have enough, use a trader workshop like I was saying and just kind of build your way up. The trader workshop doesn't really produce that much money in itself, but it's going to help you get to higher workshops. You can do it a lot faster because this weapon's emporium. If you get 3,000 bottle caps each time, it adds up really, really quickly. And it's probably one of the best bottle cap glitches in the game right now. This glitch also works just fine with the normal, like, counter workshops, where they're just, like, not these, but, like, just looks like a counter. Um, works fine with them as well. Now, when I made this glitch a long time ago, I forgot to mention that they're not going to be in your inventory whenever you, like, exit the workshop. And what you got to do is you actually have to go over into your workshop and go over into the miscellaneous tab. And all your bottle caps should be right there waiting for you. For this XP glitch, you are going to need to make yourself a robot workbench, and once you have done that, just go ahead, go to your computer, craft it, and go ahead and make a new automatron robot. Once you have done that, go down to torso, and select the protectron torso, and then use the one you can make the most, which is Sentry for me. And if you don't have Sentry unlocked, you can use Assaultron or Mr. Handy, it doesn't really matter, but once you've done that, just go ahead and select protectron torso again to 
um, disable the one you've had previously. Once you've completed that step, go ahead and go and take out any junk from your inventory or your workbench and put it in a container nearby so you will not be able to cr uh, create any more Protectron torsos or Sentry torsos. Make sure that you don't actually put the Sentry torso or the Protectron torso inside of there while you're doing that though because you want it to be in your inventory. Now you want to get your companion to stand nearby your workbench and command them to trade, but while you're in the screen before it actually goes into the actual layout of trading, uh, go over and click craft on the robot workbench and select your automatron you used for this glitch. You're going to be in a weird screen now and you want to go down to the torso and click on protectron torso again. And once you go that, do the uh, torso that you made for this glitch. So just spam um, X or right on the D-pad or both at the same time to make it go faster. And while you're doing this, it's going to be actually thinking that you're actually creating a centron torso. So you're going to be X getting XP for actually... Um, creating it but you're not actually creating it so you can just do this over and over and over again until you are satisfied with the amount of xp you get and this is by far the best xp glitch in the game and once you are finished just go ahead and exit out of the robot workbench and get all your xp all right guys so for this first xp glitch you're going to actually have to have the prid one and if you do not have the prid one yet um it's unlocked pretty quickly in the story um so it shouldn't take that long to actually unlock it plus i have a video on a glitch where you can actually unlock it early so once you are actually at the prid one just go ahead and go on to the inside part of it and then head up onto the main deck of it where like all the markets and all that type of stuff is because we are going to be meeting someone. And that person that we're going to be meeting is actually Proctor Quinlan and he is, um, you have to actually go and meet him if you haven't actually talked to him yet, but he is just located down this hallway right here at this little blimp right here on the map. Now, whenever you go and talk to him, you can actually say a few things, but the thing that we are going to be wanting to do with him is actually talk to him about training a Brotherhood Scribe. Now it's going to be on the left hand portion, press square to assist on patrol. And basically what this does is you're going to have to actually train a Brotherhood Scribe to actually start becoming the Brotherhood of Steel. Instead, we're not actually going to be training him. But once you actually do accept the mission, you're going to be getting this little marker thing. And um, it's going to be located about right um, outside where Proctor Ingram is, if you've unlocked that part of the story. But we're not going to be down there. We're going to go actually out on back onto the main deck of the Predwin. Um by just actually leaving out this door here. Now once you are out here, you are going to need a ranged weapon. Now the best one for this would be some type of sniper rifle or any other weapon like that. You can use an assault rifle, but it's just going to take a lot more time. It's going to be a lot harder to find. Also when you're out here, I do recommend quick saving just because there is a chance that you're going to have to restart this and because you're actually going to have to be killing this Brotherhood Scribe. So um, make sure you are crouched and you are hidden from all the guys up here and then just start shooting at this Brotherhood Scribe. You may have to wait between shots because you will actually get cautioned. But once you kill him, it is going to actually say return to Proctor Quinlan and just head back to his little place here and you can go ahead and talk to him. He's going to ask you how the uh, place went. And whenever you were doing that, you're going to say that um, unfortunately they died, but it doesn't really matter. Honestly, he's going to tell you about all this stuff, how she was a good person, all that type of stuff. doesn't really matter. But after you have done all that, he's going to actually give you some bottle caps and some XP. Now, it doesn't look like that much for me, but that's because I'm a super high level, and this is actually really, really good for low-level players. So now let's go ahead and get right into the next glitch. Now, for this next glitch, it's going to be requiring two steps. One is you're going to have to be duplicating a ton of copper. Now, I'm going to be briefly showing you how you actually duplicate items in the game. Um, it's going to be very brief, though. I'm not going to go too in-depth on it, but if you do not know how to do this in-depth, I actually have um, a few videos on it that I will link in the description. So if you want to figure out how to do this glitch yourself because you don't know how to do it, just go ahead and look in the description and there will be a link to a video of me explaining it in depth um, as best as I can and show you guys how to do it. So it's basically, quickly how do you do this is so just go to any desired place you want to do, which I'm going to do copper and what you should do is copper just because that's what we're going to be needing for this glitch. Go ahead and drop all that stuff onto the ground. If you have multiple copies of it from your duplicating, just go ahead and store them back into your little pit bull and it'll be back into one. Um, once you do that, go ahead, press square X and circle super, super fast on the D-pad and it'll actually duplicate it. Um, but actually you have to do it super, super fast though. Do that as much as you want and then you'll have a ton of copper. You're going to need a whole bunch for this. And then once you've done that, go over into your decorations tab, go to statues. Now there are different statues you can use for this. And if these do not show up for you, um, that's because you do not have the picket fences, magazines, and those can be uh, located at Sawyer's Ironworks. Look for a different YouTube video. I do not have any videos on that to find them. Um, just go ahead and look it up on Google or something like that. 
But the statue that we're going to be using is actually this copper little baseball guy holding a baseball bat statue. You can use the other ones. They just are not going to be um, as wise on space because they're super, super big and you can't place as many down. But for this one, if you just keep placing these down, you're going to be getting 150 XP per one. It's kind of different depending on what level you are on. Um, but just keep spamming these down and you'll actually get a ton of XP for this. This is what I used to level up super, super fast whenever I first started my game. And it worked like a charm until I could find better ones, which I'll be showing later in the video. Now, um, once you have filled your entire base up with this, I would recommend going to one of your bases that is um, not very built on, that has a lot of spades, such as Abernathy Farm or Sanctuary Hills, or any place that's really, really big that you can place a lot of items down without having to actually break anything. But once the size on your base has actually been maxed out, just go ahead and delete all these guys again. Make sure you do not store them to your workbench because whenever you place them back down, you're not going to be getting any XP. So make sure that you are scrapping them. Plus, you're going to be getting some copper back, so you're not going to be having to waste all of your stuff. And just like the other glitch, once you have done everything, just keep rinse and repeating this, doing it as however much you want to for however long you want to until you have reached your desired level or you're tired of doing it. Um, just make sure that you have a lot of space to place your statues and things like that. And this is actually a pretty, pretty good glitch. I actually did do this glitch so much whenever I was a low level. But now that that is out of the way, let's go ahead and get right on to the next glitch.